Hi folks, just a quick video. Uh, so here's my coping saw. As you can see, let's zoom out a little bit. There you go, the teeth are pointing forward. I've got it on a white background, just so that you can see the teeth are pointing forwards and not towards the handle. Uh, that is my fretboard or fret saw table. Obviously with the teeth pointing forward, you can't use it that way because the downstroke is going to be going the wrong way. So that's when you'd have the teeth pointing towards the handle. And just quickly whip that out. And uh, I'm trying to do this all one-handed. <laughs> right, so this is going to be interesting because I've not quite done this before. But there's a piece of timber marked out to do dovetails. And normally I would be holding the back end, ooh, the back end of the saw. Yeah, sorry I couldn't um, get someone to video this for me. Uh, so normally I'd, I'd be using my left hand thumb to help guide the blade. But all I would do is draw that back to get the cut started. And once it's started, I've got almost no pressure. You can see I'm doing it one-handed. Next to no power. Just let the saw do the work. And there you go. <laughs> saw cut, done. Blade pointing forward. No blade popped out. No snap blade. No pinging. Right, let's see if I, normally I'd do this with a dovetail saw on the outside. But just to keep the naysayers happy. No pressure. Just let the saw do the work. And it cuts really, really well with just a little bit of guidance. Hope you found that helpful.